How many of you desire to be extraordinary? Most of us, if not all of us, desire to be extraordinary. Do you know why that desire is inside of you? It's because you were made to be extraordinary. Look at Genesis chapter 1. When God made man, when He made you, it says, let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. You and I were made in whose image? God's image. That's awesome. To have the ability to worship God, the ability to reason, the ability to make choices, that's extraordinary. But the reality is not many of us live extraordinary lives. In fact, we don't even know what extraordinary means. If I were to ask you, what does it look like for your life to be extraordinary, what would you tell me? Look at what the Bible says. We know that God causes all things to work together for what? For good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. And so we highlight the word good. What does it mean, good? What is our good? What is our best, ultimate good? What does it mean to be extraordinary? The next verse tells us, for those whom He foreknew, He also predestined to become conformed to the image of His Son. Friends, to live an extraordinary life means you and I become Christ-like. We were made in God's image, and so when we become like Christ, that's when we are becoming extraordinary, when we are like Christ. Is that clear? Be extraordinary for God. You now have a picture of what it means to be extraordinary. It means to be like Christ.